Some dirty, rotten SOB ran me over. what I do to deserve that? Nothing. Anyway, welcome to Sunday Driver. Hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nick. This is my low buck YouTube channel. I like to call Sunday Driver Rides. Thank you for joining me. I sure do appreciate it. What are we doing? Well, knock on wood. I think, I think I finished all the million patches in the 68 Firebird. I think. I probably I'll find probably find something more tomorrow, but but I did. It's it's late out. You can see it's dark. Um, uh, Dad's coming tomorrow, so that's why I'm out here late trying to get as much metal work done. He's gonna help me start getting rid of some rust and possibly doing some body work, particularly on that ugly <laughs> ugly roof. <laughs> Boy, I messed that up. So I did. I learned the hard way. In flat areas, just cut it out and then just put a piece of metal under it and then just tack it. Don't weld it all the way around like I did there and have it warp and just, yeah, it's ugly. So yeah, but like I said, it's late. I'm tired. I'm going to bed because tomorrow and the day after that, pretty busy. But uh, good day is hopefully working on this. Good night. All right. Next day. Help. Please help me. <laughs> good morning. Oh, morning. We're going to. Nick's done a good job of getting, of getting a lot <laughs> of bad stuff <laughs> taken care of. But we still got to get a little bit better yet. You can see some spots in here that are low, low in here yet. We want to try to keep our fill ideally to an eighth of an inch, but we could probably cheat to a quarter inch, but that's getting really pretty thick. We'll use Duraglass first, any place that's that's uh, greater than an eighth of an inch to get it so we only have an, end up putting an eighth of an inch of uh, body fill over that. Um, so what I'd like to do is we'll get a piece of cardboard and we're gonna lay it over the top on edge of that side of the roof, because that side of the roof is is straight yet. And so we'll we'll draw like a little pattern so we can see what that curve is, and we'll flip it around and come over to here, and then we'll lay it back down onto this side. And then we'll be able to see underneath any place that it's the steel is too low, and we can determine, is that greater than an eighth of an inch? If it's greater than an eighth of an inch, we're gonna try to come underneath and uh, tap those areas up to get them within an eighth of an inch. And uh, there's bracing underneath some of this, so we can't, we can't get to some of these low areas. So we for sure wanna make sure that they're no greater than a quarter of an inch. And uh, we'll do that all the way again this half of the roof is good this half of the roof is what has all the the uh, rust repair done on it so we'll create a template on that side flip it over onto this side use that as our guide to come through and take care of any of these other uh, steel areas that have been welded in are still low and pray <laughs> all right let's get to it all right okay fast forward a bit after dad hammered and hammered and hammered a little bit more we've got all the uh, oil can hopefully out of it you know most of it and now what are you doing pa we're just putting on some rust converter this thing's got a lot of pitting in it and so before we put any mud down I wanted to get the rust converter down into all these little pits we'll hit it again with a grinder or we're going to put the mud, but at least now that the uh, the recessed areas will have some rust converter put into them. And then we will go ahead and uh, do our body work. Um, 
in those spots. It will uh, epoxy primer everything, come back, and uh, any other. We'll get the main body work done now, epoxy primer, finish up with some, some finer detailed body work, uh, sanding primer, scuff and shoot. We're almost done. <laughs> and we're going to drive it tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's a long process, but... It is what it is. Yeah, what the hell. All right, body work begins. Look at that. This is Bondo hair. I don't know to be honest with you, I've never used it before, but it's long strand. It's kind of like Duraglass, but Duraglass is chopped. This stuff is like, like, well, obviously it's long strands of... Uh, fiberglass that are mixed in with the uh, with dirt glass and this is what you want for the kind of thicker areas right yeah yeah this is this will help with some some in, uh, strength but we just have such big areas yet and looks like a sack full of marbles you could, up there, so <laughs> you can tell though it's it looks like honestly it's from here you did a way better job than I did. <laughs> well, it's better than it was. Yeah. And so that's that's good. So, so cool. Um, yeah. All right. There's the long strand so far. What do you think, Dad? It's different to work with, that's for sure. I tried to um, use the uh, I don't even know what the right word with it. It's like a rasp to cut it, and it worked all right here. They kind of hooked it here and ripped the whole section out, so I wasn't pleased with that so yeah in other words you hate it <laughs> no it's okay it's it it has its purpose and um i'm sure i'm not using it for that correct purpose but what the hell? <laughs> oh it's just nick's car, it's just nick's car. <laughs> <laughs> all right well so we're gonna give her a try yeah just keep trucking we'll figure it out we'll get her all right as you can tell the body works perfect, perfect. <laughs> So what are we doing, Dad? Well, we put the Dura glass or the long strand uh, like a gel in here and some of the really big divots. I've always, I'm old school, I've always been told you put that stuff, especially if it's got a little thickness to it, against bare steel. So we've got that down. I've scuffed and wire brushed all this. We're gonna put an epoxy primer down now. And then after we get the epoxy primer, it'll sit overnight we can start putting body fill over that. And, so you got the rust converter on there? Yeah, we we'll put rust converter on and put a wire brush to it all. And uh, it, it puts a profile into that, try to get rid of most of the, uh, uh, most of the uh, rust converter. So it's just staying into the divots. And uh, from here, we're gonna go ahead now, after we put that, again, that gel coat on, we're gonna come and uh, shoot epoxy primer over it and then start slinging some mud tomorrow. Cool. Hope for the best. All right, and there's the beauty. <laughs> Yeah, It'll the white better. really brings out the ugliness in it. But it'll get better by tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll bondo, tomorrow right? Tomorrow morning, but tomorrow evening. Yeah, tomorrow bondo, right? Bondo it, tomorrow. Bondo that ugliness a little bit. Or the shovel. That's so we might need it. So so yeah. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll start making this more pretty. If you believe that or not. Alright, next day, Dad's already got more Duraglass. Duraglass. That's the word I'm looking for on there. So. Just got a base on here, another layer of Duraglass to fill up the low spots. Check and using our template that we made. And this body line follows that right there. So you can see that's still a little bit high right there. You know, it's not horrid though. You got yeah, a little gap there. Good. Yeah. So I'm just going to knock this down. 
And then what we're gonna have Nick do today is we're gonna take this and trace it onto a piece of metal. I'm gonna have him cut this contour on a piece of uh, sheet metal. He's gonna fold the edge over on it to stiffen it up. And we're gonna have ourselves one big arse bondo <laughs> spreader. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's a good idea. So I just yeah. hope the lathe is big enough for the the press, I should say, for to fit yeah. in that. But we'll figure it out. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, we'll take it a couple we'll bites it. at a time. Yeah. Just cut a little slit in here. There you old go. half, yep. old half, tack it if we need to. Yeah, we'll get it. Cool. Farm boy fix, baby. That's, that's right. What we do. That's... <laughs> Don't ever follow what we do. <laughs> we're really screwed up. <laughs> well, it's more me than you. Let's be yeah. honest. Hey, it's going to look good, though. Yeah, I got to own this monstrosity. So, anyway. We'll fix her. All right. We're going to put on quite a bit of Bondo. We'll see how well my little tool I made works. Let's hope it works good. All right. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> what else is new? We're just hoping for the best. I'm pretty sure everybody watching knows that by now. Put on Bondo with a trowel. <laughs> So look at that. It did. It leveled it out quite a bit. It's almost like I never hacked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Not too shabby. It's good thinking, Pa, making that thing. I like it. Intro or to say improvise mm -hmm. that's a win it's got a little yeah but we're we'll we're get there we're getting it there oh we'll all right now that we've gone this way dad's gonna go down this way try to smooth it out look at that we're not even gonna paint it we're just gonna leave it <laughs> You know, the bottle's getting too hard. It, you don't gotta. It's okay if you waste a little, Dad. <laughs> what? I know. You never grew up with the Depression era father. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I was actually thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> I think we're going to call it. All right. All right, much, much, much later. Yeah, we're, we're calling it a day. We've been uh, using this fancy guide tool um, to spread bondo, but we've also been using a uh, sheetrock plaster so this way and then this way and this actually worked out good i mean yeah, yeah dad yeah and the more you can get this close to being the finish by using tools like this the less sanding you do and anybody that's done body work and has is when you first start out it seems like you have a pile of dust that's like half a gallon of Bondo <laughs> laying on the floor in shavings. And that's yeah. not what you want. Yeah. You want to get it as smooth as you can. And uh, you just keep putting one thin layer after another. I don't know how many times I put layers over this. Probably close to a dozen times I've already put it on oh, here. Oh yeah. And just build it up slowly. And uh, you can see we've got awesome. a pencil mark in here. So I've identified that using our handy dandy little, uh, little rig here. 
that this is still a problem area. You know, you can see that you can. Yeah, see the gap. Yeah, you you can't get a bondo spreader under it or anything, but I mean, it's you know, it's it's there. Yeah, okay. and I mean, it's that's not much. It's maybe a sixteenth of an inch, but we want it gone. We just want it gone, so that way we're not sanding our butts off. That's but what kills you in body work is no one looks forward to sitting there sand, sand, sand. So yeah. get the body work, take your time, put the mud on, get it straight, and then you should just have to touch it up, you know, and, uh, and sanding primer. After the uh, sanding primer, we'll seal it, and uh, then it can be painted. Oh, this is awesome. Road to redemption right here, and it's because of you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, Pa. Yeah, yeah I'm no Saving my bacon once it's again. Just, <laughs> just stay at it, you know? Just yep. stay at it and be patient and don't try to take it off in one big bite. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Get the shovel. <laughs> shovel it all on there. Cool. Thanks again, Pa. Yeah, it was fun. I love you, Dad.